here I'm coming close to the house of John and Paul you can tell from these arches and their house was excavated underneath a church which bears their name it's pretty amazing inside and I'm gonna turn around here it's right across from the Palatine Hill which is right in front of me and through the trees you can see the Emperor's Palace and if you read my book I am John I am Paul it'll give you an idea why their home was so close to the Emperor's now I'm gonna turn this off and go inside here we have entered the house of John and Paul. This is the present entrance. The walls were covered with frescoes, but those have been lost for the centuries, at least in this room. But if we go into this next room, it's pretty incredible. Look at these frescoes up here. Now the story is that the priest in the church above heard that there was a house below the church and he started digging actually with his own hands and when he finally broke through he ended up in this room where there are actually paintings of naked men and he thought that was so inappropriate that he scrubbed the details off the men as you can see but one of them was left intact let me see if you can see it. It's sliced in half here. And here you can see the details of the male body that were present on these. But there's little signs of life and nature. These little, we would call them angels above. So this room was heavily decorated. Now we're going to go into the next room and this room also was covered with frescoes as you can see. Some of them have been preserved, some have been lost. And in some of the rooms, like this one, there is Egyptian symbolism, as you can see from the triangles or pyramids. And one of the men, John, had a particular experience in Alexandria, again, that you can read about in my book. Let's keep going. I can hear other tourists inside. Now this room is very heavily decorated and incredible. We don't know what it was used for. Perhaps it was the main dining room. But the most interesting and also controversial painting is this, the frame figure, which archeologists have concluded is a Christian figure from the 4th century. And there's also symbolism of the theater, the masks used at a theater. Also symbols of life, garden, shows that the inhabitants loved nature. Here the walls are painted to look like marble, even though they're plaster. Heavily decorated home. Again, it looks like marble. Now this room, which we're going to enter afterwards, was actually the area where the two men, John and Paul, lost their lives. But let's proceed on to this area.
This is the lowest area of the house. And it was actually the wine cellar. And when the house was excavated, this room was actually full of jugs of wine and oil still. And the jugs and containers were removed and brought to the museum below. Only one, this one, lodged against the wall, was remained in its place, was left in its place. So let's see if we can go upstairs. And I can show you something really special. Yes, here it is. Good, no tourist. So this is pretty incredible because these are some of the best frescoes left in the place. Now, this fresco, you can see, consists of two soldiers in the back and there are Benedetta in the middle, Cyprus and Cyprianios. Again, the role they play in this story is in my book and below you see this praying figure over here tells a story of how the three on the other side Benedetta, Cipra, Cyprianus lost their lives and there's a very interesting figure here it's Fulvia Again, in the book, John's sister, she looks at you as if she's asking you a question, pointing to all these scenes, asking you, what do you think of all of this? Then over here is the container where the remains of John Paul were found thousand years after their death and they were buried together which was highly unusual for two men to be buried in the same tomb let's go down here again this room is significant because it's in this area that the two lost their lives and when they were buried in secret to try to hide their death, this is where they were buried. There's that explanation in Latin. And the remains were found here in this spot. The house has a very unusual layout because it was actually several houses united together as one. And if you look at the pavement in this area, it was actually a street in ancient Rome between the buildings. There's still some excavation work being done down here, so some areas are blocked off. And now, we're going to go back through this area, through this main room where the soldiers lost their lives, back through the area of the basement, storage area, and through, excuse me, this street, this former street, and here we're going to try to find our way to the other part of the house. We're actually making a full circle around and out through the decorated area. And 
and to a very special room. When you read my book, you'll understand the significance. There's a tour here, so let me be quiet and film it. The area I just showed you was the garden area with a fresco that tells a story of the two soldiers, their sister, their mother, in symbolic form. And again, you have to read my book to know what it means. Now look at this cool area. These are all the things that were found inside the house. You have jugs of wine and oil. Pieces of pottery that the men could have used. Fragments of statues. Glassware. Utensils. Lamps. These are Roman light bulbs. Lamps everywhere. Statues. These frescoes come from a later time. So the house was full of art, as you can see. So here I am. I hope you enjoyed the tour. I think this is an incredible place with a lot of art, history, faith, mystery, and an incredible energy that you have to come here to experience. Bye-bye. So now we are inside of the heavily decorated church of John and Paul. And most of the time it's actually used for weddings, as you can see. They're getting ready for one right now. But what I want to show you is this extraordinary thing below the altar, behind that chair. Do you see the two red candles there? Well, that's where both the bodies of John and Paul are right now. And it's so dark back there, you can't see it, but it's decorated with this motif of a heart split in two that's coming together. So there they are, and there they lay together forever.